Thin layer chromatography, TLC, is a chromatography technique used to separate non-volatile mixtures. As well as other forms of chromatography, in TLC there is a mobile phase, which may consist of a solvent or solvent mixture. And there is a stationary phase, which is a plate that coated with a thin layer of adsorbent material, usually silica gel, aluminium oxide, or cellulose. To run a thin layer chromatography plate, a pencil line is drawn, about 1.5 cm from the bottom edge. Also, the plate can be labeled using a pencil to show the original position of the drop. Thin layer chromatography can be used to identify compounds present in a given sample mixture. A small drop of the mixture is placed on the baseline of the thin layer plate. And similar small spots of known compounds are placed alongside it. When the spots are dry, the TLC plate is then placed in the chamber so that the spots do not touch the surface of the eluent in the chamber and the lid is closed. The solvent moves up the plate by capillary action, meets the sample mixture and carries it up the plate. The separation is based on differential partitioning of the sample components between the mobile phase and the stationary phase. The component which has less affinity to the stationary phase, consequently, less interaction travels further up the TLC plate. And the component which has more affinity to the stationary phase, consequently, more interaction travels slower on the plate. This separation can be carried out according to the nature of the mobile phase which is non-polar, and to the TLC plate type, which is generally a polar stationary phase. In this case, this method separates analytes based on their affinity for a polar stationary surface, such as silica gel. The more polar the analytes are, the more retained they will be on the stationary phase. The more hydrophobic they are, the more they will prefer the mobile phase, and as a consequence, they will move higher up the plate. The solvent is allowed to rise until it almost reaches the top of the plate. That will give the maximum separation of the components. The plate should be removed from the chamber before the solvent front reaches the top of the stationary phase. Then this front is marked. The plate can be dried in ambient air or under the warm air of a dryer. The plate is visualized under the UV lamp or by using certain chemical reagents if the substances of interest are colorless. Some plates are pre-coated with a phosphor, allowing many compounds to be visualized by using ultraviolet light. Or a derivatization of the sample with fluorescent reagent can be carried out before running the TLC plate. As soon as the UV sources switch off, the spots will disappear again. Therefore, the positions of the spots should be marked by drawing a pencil circle around them and the retention factor of each component is determined. For chemical visualization of stains, various visualizing agents react with the spots to produce visible results, such as iodine, ninhydrin, potassium permanganate, and vanillin. The plate can be immersed in these chemicals or sprayed. Once visible, the RF value, or retention factor, of each spot can be determined. By dividing the distance the compound traveled. By the distance the solvent front traveled. Using the initial spotting site as reference. A compound with a lower RF tends to have more polar functional groups than a compound with a higher RF. Based on the RF values, compound A is the most polar, and compound C is the least polar. The retention factor of the spots in the mixture is determined and compared with those of the known compounds. In this sample, we found the presence of the compound A and the compound C.